Hey, good morning, family. Uh, welcome to another inspirational vitamin. Um, today we're out. I know I look like I'm from a scary movie or whatever with this lighting, but uh, we're out here on Stone Mountain, and um, it just made me think about this scripture that I want to share with y'all. Uh, this is over in Exodus, I believe this is 19, and um, this is when the the Israelites they were basically like we don't want to hear from you anymore Moses we want to hear from God God directly no middleman and so God was like okay I'll come I'll come and in verse 16 it says on the morning of the third day there was thunder and lightning with a thick cloud over the mountain and a very loud trumpet blast everyone in the camp trembled then Moses led the people out of the camp to meet with God and they stood at the foot of the mountain Mount Sinai was covered with smoke because the Lord descended on it in fire. The smoke billowed up from it like smoke from a furnace, and the whole mountain trembled violently. As the sound of the trumpet grew louder and louder, Moses spoke, and the voice of God answered him. Now, what basically happened here, when God descended on this mountain, the people were terrified. If you can imagine, it said the mountain, sh not, not just the mountain shook, the mountain shook violently. Billows of smoke, a trumpet, if you can imagine a trumpet sound, but just getting louder and louder and louder. And the mountain was covered in darkness because of um, this smoke, because God had come down in fire. And then pick up in chapter 20, and we're gonna uh, go from verse 18 it says when the people saw the thunder and lightning and heard the trumpet and saw the mountain and smoke They trembled with fear They stayed at a distance and said to Moses speak to us yourself and we will listen But do not have God speak to us or we will die Moses said to the people do not be afraid God has come to test you so that the fear of God will be with you to keep you from sinning The people remained at a distance while Moses approached the thick darkness where God was and the thing that I love about this scripture as we start up this mountain is that many times we associate darkness with fear and the uncertainty. Uh, I don't know of too many people that love darkness. And in this situation, God was in that darkness. God was in that, that unknown, because it's like, what the heck is on this mountain? Check it out. It's like, what, what or who could be up here um, that could hurt us? But ultimately, um, God was there. God was there in that uncertainty, in what you can't see. God is there. And just like Moses, we can confidently approach God's mountain. We can confidently move forward into areas that that we don't even know what's there really, <laughs> you know? So what, what are those areas for us? What areas are we like, man, I don't know about that. What areas seem uncertain? And that's where God allows us to go to because he works in the unknown. So as we climb this mountain, as I climb this mountain physically, and as you climb your mountain spiritually, let us trust in God and approach him with confidence the way that Moses did. Uh, because he wants to be close to us. He wants to have a fantastic relationship with us. Love you guys. Peace.